Hey guys, so it's me, Atiana. I am coming to you with another video. Um, as you can see, it's a DIY video. I haven't made one in a long time. It's, I think the last time I made one was like, what, two years ago? I don't know. Um, but we're gonna talk about that because it is a new start and I am here with a new DIY, which as you can see um, on the title that it is a rave slash Halloween costume type. So um, I'm not gonna talk much for the intro. I'm just gonna get right into it and I'm gonna switch to my um, camera here so you can see what I'm gonna be doing so if the graphics look different it's because of this so let's get into it let go hello guys okay so today I am going to be showing you <clears throat> how to make a rave bra slash Halloween costume top um for Halloween this year I'm going to be a um, hippie like a glamorous hippie. I thought I'd put a little uh, twist onto it. So, yeah. Um, what you will need for this tutorial is obviously a bra that you don't mind ruining. Well, I wouldn't say ruining. I'd say making more beautiful. Um, so you're going to need a bra. You're going to need tweezers so you can pick up the jewels I'm going to be showing you. You're going to need a bowl to put your jewels in just you know have more control over what you're picking up and stuff you're going to need jewels and you can get these at Hobby Lobby or your local Michael store I got this at Walmart these I'm pretty sure I got from Walmart as well um, the bowl Walmart <laughs> um, what else you will need is a hot glue gun and hot glue you can get those at your local craft store. Um, this, these are two separate chains, but you will need um, a chain like this. I'll show you what we're gonna do with this later. And you will need flowers to put on your bra. So let's get into the tutorial. What you wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your flowers, and I'm gonna be using the um. The big flowers on the um, sorry focus camera thank you um, I'm gonna be using the big flowers on the um, bra so and also I'll let you know how much all of this costs um, at the end of the video it's really inexpensive so don't worry about that but anyways I'm gonna be using the big flowers on the flower stem so because you get more coverage that way and I think it looks a lot better I mean I might um, incorporate some of the smaller ones but what you're gonna want to do that's kind of what I did with this one already it's a smaller one you're just gonna want to take the leaves off right there and then you're gonna want to just separate it so just take it off just like that and you're gonna want to do that to all the big flowers or small one whatever you prefer I mean this is a DIY so I'm using the big ones, but you're going to want to take all the big flowers off and set them to the side, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pluck them. Pluck them, pluck them, pluck them. Also, I forgot. One more thing you're going to need is scissors. So I would, you know, I'm going to go get some scissors real quick. Got my scissors. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, clip off any, like, access, like, leaf stuff that really doesn't need to be on there. Like that doesn't need to be there. It's ugly. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut this part off as close as you can to the base without taking the flower apart because you're going to hot glue this to um, the bra. So I think I'm just going to cut that much off. Whoa. And be careful, it flies. And it should do that. So do that to all of your big flowers or small flowers that you're using and okay so <clears throat> I have all of the little things cut off of the backs of the flowers and now they're just kind of you know they're just kind of laying there so oh here's a small one what are you doing here okay so now what you're going to want to do is get your bra <clears throat> and for the design that I'm going to be doing is that the flowers are gonna go from here and they're gonna come down swoop up like that you are cutting the uh, tips of this off I would recommend having your hot glue gun on so that way it's already heating up so we can just start getting in there and going oh, what you're gonna want to do is put glue on the tippy 
top of the bra. So you're gonna wanna get in there. Well, not the tip top, but you know, the corner. And you're gonna wanna put a generous amount, not a lot, just enough to hold the thing, the flower, the thing, wow. And you're gonna wanna just place the flower right there. And press down. And let it dry right there. I'd probably I'm gonna go back though and be careful with this hot glue because it's like it's getting stringy. So that's what it should look like so far. It's like that. So the next one is you're gonna wanna put glue right pretty much next to it so you can so it has that like gradient effect like that. So you're gonna get your glue gun again. And you're gonna put glue like right here. And it's so hard to do this with one hand, trying to get it in the shot. Like I said, put a generous amount because this is a huge flower. And then get your flower. Whoa, focus camera. Thank you. And then put the flower right on the spot. And if you have to move the flowers, you know, to make them kind of lay next to each other, that's fine. It should start looking something like that. So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to come back and show you when I'm done when I have the flowers kind of going in the... So, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I finished um, the flowers. I will tell you what I did. I did end up putting some small flowers on there just to fill up space because if I would have put big flowers all throughout, it would have just looked weird. So I alternated. I put a small flower here to just fill up some space and then I went big, big, big and then some small ones here to kind of give it like a gradient effect and then I went big, big, big again and then a small one here just to fill some space. So... If I can set it up like that, it looks like that. So it's like a, a swoopy type thing. Now what we're going to do is start with the rhinestones. And this is where you take the the stripes. Now what you're going to do, and this is the part where you need absolute patience and creativity. This is where the bowl comes into play. You're going to take your jewels and you're going to dump them in the bowl so you have a little more control of what you're doing. Not, not a lot. And this is where your tweezers come into play. Now you can do this however you want. I mean this is about however you want. Now I'm not going to use like a specific color of these. I'm pretty much going to use all of them except for the red and orange because my pants that I have um, they don't have red or orange in them, so I'm probably just going to end up like alternating colors. But what you're going to want to do, um, I'm going to show you a few times, is you're going to use, I think I'm going to start with pink. So you're going to want to pick up the pink one, if you can get it. I'm just going to set it like that. They're kind of stuck together. Where'd it go? You're going to want to pick it up like that. And then you're going to want to, you know, put your hot glue and then you're going to want to place it on. So, here we go. I'm going to start right there and put a nice little dab. And be careful with your hot glue because it is stringy. And then we're just going to take it and place it right there. And I'm so happy that, like, these are different sizes so, like, you get, like you know different dimensions and stuff so I'm gonna show you a couple more times I'm gonna do a small one this time and it's probably gonna be a blue one so I'm gonna pick the blue one out put a little dab right next to the pink be careful of the stringiness pick it up and put it on the bra and you're going to do that all over in whatever design 
you want. So I will be back to show you what the finished product looks like. Okay guys, I thought I'd stop and take a break and show you what one side looks like so far. So here it is, um, what I did with the top was put the blue rhinestones next to the flower so it kind of looks like the blue is like ombre into the color. But this is what one side looks like. I'm gonna go have some dinner and then come back because I'm starving and I need a break from all of these colors. Look, it's like a mess over here. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take a break and then I'll come back and show you with the finished side. And then <clears throat> I'll show you what we're going to do with the chain after that. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm finished with um, both sides and this is what it looks like. I will now show you um, what we're going to do with the chain, which is pretty simple. It's going to be a body chain that's going to connect in the front and then in the back. So I'll show you. Um, what we're going to do first is under the flower, I've already done it. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, you're going to poke a hole with scissors or, you know, whatever, like in between, like, focus camera, in between, like right here. So that way, like in the middle of the bra, pretty much. Like under the flower and in the middle of the ball, you're gonna poke a hole there, and then you're gonna take one of your chains and you're gonna loop it through that hole that you made. So, like this, you're gonna find the hole, and you're just gonna loop it through. So it looks like that. So after you've put the first chain um, clamp in the middle, you're going to go ahead and do the same to the second one and put it in the same hole. And then your chain is going to kind of dangle. And that's where you're going to want to get the uh, side that has all of the little holes on it. And you're going to want to loop them on your um, bra clamps right there. You're just going to want to loop them in there. And that's pretty much it. Close your bra up and there you have it. Your body chain is now on your bra. I will um, put pictures of me in the bra at the end of the video. But thank you guys for watching. Bye. So, hey guys. I just wanted to give you one more last look at the bra before I um, ended the video. I will put pictures of, you know, the, <laughs> the bra with the body chain um, on it at the end of the video, so don't worry. Um, next video will be of my Halloween makeup. I'm also going to be using the flowers, so you might want to stick around and stay tuned for that video probably this weekend I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. I enjoyed making it. I hope I explained everything pretty well. The body chain kind of got tricky at the end. Like, I'll try to explain it one more time. Like, you make a hole in, in the middle of the bra and then you put the two clamps in that hole and then what you do with the um the loops you know like the the ones that are not um the clampy ones like the the thing is at the end you take whichever circle you want i did the second one second third one and i just looped it onto the thing like that and I did the same one I mean I did the same thing on the um, other thing like that and then you just hook your bra back to whatever row of things and then it's on there and ready to be worn so yeah 
Hope you like it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I will have my social media over here and in the description box below. So, see you next time. Bye!